Okay, fantastic, good. Okay, how about some seated rollbacks? Sitting with the knees bent, nice and tall, start with the balls out in front, roll back round the spine, tuck underneath, take the arms over, into a V-shaped stretch, and then coming back up, hold them out in front. And again, so roll the spine, one vertebra at a time, take them back, they're nice and soft to hold, you can open the arm, arms and the hands when they come back, and then roll forwards, and lift. Okay, you can do the same thing with straight legs. Just roll that back. Put the feet together if you wish. Good. So control it. Contract as you roll up. And then sit nice and tall at the top. To make that harder, as you roll back, place the balls across your chest. Roll slowly down, tuck underneath. Okay, because the weight of them will want to pull you back onto the floor. Try not to let the feet lift. And as you come back up again, cross them and squeeze those abs as you come back up, nice and tall, you could take a stretch forwards and then come back up, cross them over, tuck under, roll down, open, yeah, squeeze and lift and stretch, I think my pants are falling down aren't they, and then that's centre, excellent, okay, hands and knees, Pull the trousers back on, onto the hands and knees, okay, so you've got superhero, stabilise the pelvis, stabilise the spine, okay, just picking the ball up as you go, reaching away, and back in, and breathe in, just brace these abs, keep the shoulders back, Try not to move backwards or forwards. Okay, keep it really still. Lengthen. And back in a couple more. And again. Excellent. Shake out the wrists. Let's go straight into our push-up. Pilates push-up. Okay, so elbows tucked in. Shoulders back. Take a breath in, we bring it down. And then back up. So you want to keep here nice and long. Try not to shrug your shoulders. And lift, make it unstable. Place the hands on the balls. Okay, so make it a bit more wobbly. Uh, lift into full ones if you wish. Tuck your glutes under. Whew, squeeze, that's that. Okay, and again. Or you could have ball between the knees. Okay, so you're going to work those inner thighs, squeezing the ball, taking it down, and pressing. That's a... Good. You could even put the balls under your feet to make it unstable. So you can press your toes into the top, they're nice and soft. You've just got to find your balance first of all. Okay, there we go, that's it. So it's nice and wobbly, and then into your push up. Okay, tucking the elbows in. Drop the floor was nice and narrow. Arms, that's it. Elbows tucked in. Go to the other one. And then gently come down. Excellent. Planks. Okay. We could do a similar sort of thing in the plank. We keep the balls there. You could have your toes on top of the balls. So if we start lying down position. Okay, just move the balls down to where your feet are. So you've got your regular plank, so coming up onto the elbows, shoulders back away from the ears, draw those abs in again, and lift up half plank, full plank, or feet on the balls. So it's making it a bit wobbly, so you've got to focus on that core strength, keep the shoulder blades backing down, just be aware that your back doesn't dip in the middle, tuck your bottom underneath, squeeze those abs. Okay, and then knees come down. You have a rest. Or another way to do it is to put the ball between the knees. Quite challenging, because you have to hold the weight of it. So, coming down again. If you're uncomfortable with your hands apart, you can place them together. Okay, draw them in. Look down between the hands, shoulders back. Lift as you bring your knees up, squeeze the ball between your knees. Hold and breathe, make it challenging. 
That's it. Lengthen forwards. Good. Holding the tummy nice and tight. Okay, so you can start to feel that. And then bring it down. Okay, roll your shoulders back. So they're really good to grip between the legs. Swan. Legs go wide. Arms by the side. Just place the balls under the hands. Okay, so we've got take a breath in. Exhale, we lift. Okay, breathe in, roll the balls forward, just past the wrist, and then roll them back in, and then gently down. So lift, roll, roll them back in, gently down. If you want to work harder, take your hands off the balls, take the arms forward, drop your shoulders, bring it back, and down. Legs as well, so you feel comfortable on your back. That. And then of course, you could pick them up. So quite strong through the back, good, squeeze. Let's please keep it controlled. Stretch, back. And one more time, lift, reach, back, and down. Roll the shoulders, and have a little view of that. Let's go into our back again. Single leg stretch. Okay, so we've got our single leg stretch, which is here. Brace the abdominals. Okay, drop the shoulders. Outside hand goes to the shin, so we swap. Now focus on stability of your pelvis. Remember, suck it in, suck it in, suck it in. Drop the shoulders away from the ears. Lengthen the neck. Look forwards. Okay. 10 swaps or 15 swaps on each side. Start to feel it. Okay. Adding the balls. Hold them up. Okay. Again, you can relax your hands. The balls will sit quite nicely in the palm of the hand. Okay. And up. Right knee comes in. So we've got one and one. Two and two. Stability. Three. Drop the shoulders. Three. Four. We can take the balls back a little bit. Five. Five. Six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Knees come in, give them a little hug. One more time, let's take it back a bit further. Arms come up, curl up. You don't want to go too far back, just so the arms are by the side of the ears. Okay, palms up, relax, off we go. Control it. Five, five, six, and six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Brilliant. Okay, good stuff. How about chest fly? A little bit more room. Okay, you might need to get a little bit more room than I've got. So taking the arms out to the side, bring that down, and squeeze together. So to get breathe out. And breathe in. Now you could either a single leg slide and center. Single leg slide. Good. Keep it nice and strong. As you slide this leg, stabilize the pelvis. Pubic bone, two hip bones lie on the same plane. Chest fly. Okay, tabletop. Single leg and squeeze. Take it out. And back in. Double legs. And back in. Squeeze. And back in, elbows are soft, as though you're hugging at the top, your lower back's pushing into the mat. Add a curl up, and bring it back in. Nod and curl up, flatten those tummy muscles, bring it back in. And bring it back in, good. Two more. Flatten, flatten, flatten. One more. And relax. Well done. Roll the shoulders. Okay, you can work the back of your legs and your glutes. So if we take one ball, place it behind the knee. Okay, so you're going to really work behind the leg and your glutes. Okay, so I'm just going to push, hip stabilised. Okay, keep grip, and we're going to go one, three, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, you can do more if you want to. It's starting to feel on there, I'm at number ten. But let's do quite a few more of those and then change over to the other side. So all you have to do is hit pause and do a few more repetitions if you want to. Okay, hips face down. Good, squeeze the ball between your calf and hamstring. Okay, so keep the spell stabilized. We go one and, and two, Good. three, four, five, six, seven, small move, eight, nine, and ten. Excellent. Well done. Woohoo! Okay. So there you go. There's a few exercises you could use with your small Pilates weighted ball. Uh, you can get them on Amazon. If you go on there, just type in Pilates weighted ball. You'll get them on there. Or physicalcompany.co.uk, uh, I think it is. You can get them on there as well. And like I say, there's different weights. The purple are the heaviest. Blue are the lightest. Green are in the middle. So, if you want to come to any of my classes, go on to gtifitness.co.uk, which is here, or martinjensen.co.uk. And I hope to see you in a class soon. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.